In 2012, Sea Ray launched the first of the brand new Sun Dancers. For 2013, they're really wowing both dealers and consumers alike with this week's power profile, the all new 510 Sun Dancer. Dockside, the profile is striking, all flowing lines and curves with select angular accents. Solid stainless railings with intermediate rails and lifelines ensure safety on deck to enjoy the sun pads or to deploy the standard anchor with windlass, chain and road, and a washdown pump. The cockpit is designed for entertaining with expansive seating with storage below and the optional teak cockpit table adjust to several positions. The refreshment center is optional and has an electric grill and ice maker. An option that makes the space great is the electric sunshade that extends out over the cockpit at the touch of a button. A three-piece sliding door system opens up the interior to the cockpit. Stepping into the interior makes you pause. Aptly called the sunroom, this expansive area is awash with light from the windshield, hard topside windows, and expansive sunroof. The sunroof is pneumatic and opens in mere seconds. To port is a luxurious ultra-leather L-shaped sofa facing a striking wood and solid surface wet bar with the 19-inch flat screen above. Inside the cabinet is an ice maker, trash receptacle, and bottle and glass storage. To expand the sunroom seating, the double-wide helm rotates to face in. Now, what really sets the new 510 apart from its predecessor, the 500, obviously is all of this. The wide open approach to connecting the sunroom to the salon below that makes the interior space so special. With this open atrium, sunlight floods into the salon when wanted or a windshield wrap keeps the heat at bay. The modern theme of light finishes, wood panels and accents continues with an L-shaped sofa to starboard that converts to a berth. Cabinets fill the space above the large hall side windows and a forward cabinet conceals the electrical panel and home theater components for the 32-inch Sony TV. The stylish galley with solid surface counter incorporates an under-counter stainless sink, microwave convection oven, dual-voltage stainless fridge freezer, two-burner cooktop, and coffee maker. The Midmaster stateroom features a queen-sized berth with inner spring mattress and ample storage. Nice touches include the 32-inch TV, mirror, large ports, built-in nightstands, dressers, and lockers. The cabin also has an open vanity with vessel sink and an enclosed head and shower. The forward stateroom has an electric reclining berth, lots of storage, access to the shared day head with enclosed shower. The 510 sports a new helm with vessel view, smart craft diagnostics, and Ray Marine electronics, and engine controls that are all digital. Access to the engine room and serviceability is top rate. Standard power is Twin Cummings QSC, T2 550 horsepower, diesel V drives, and Twin Zeus drives coupled to Cummins QSC 550 diesels are optional. Getting underway demonstrated the power and torque of the Cummins diesels. Cruise speed was a very respectable 26.9 miles per hour at 2600 RPM. Spending time slowly cruising the Tennessee River gave me a feel for the 510 that was positive. This was a big express cruiser that would be a joy to run for hours on end. If big, bold, and luxurious are characteristics you're looking for in your next express cruiser, maybe Sea Ray's new 510 Sundancer is an express yacht you should be looking at.